You know, in today's day and age, with fuel economy and gas prices being what they are, I gotta tell you, this is pretty much my favorite ride. The next step beyond this, of course, would be a horse. <laughs> Which is cool, just a little slower. It would take me a very long time to get between here and Edmonton. All right. I gotta tell you though, this isn't just a matter of, uh, you know, fuel economy for me. If, for example, everything goes sideways, everything crashes out there, it might actually be important to have a vehicle just like this that's very good on fuel that you can make gas for. Because think about it just for a second, if electricity goes out, who's gonna deliver any gas to the fuel tank where you normally get it from? Nobody, that's who. And so you might have to be self-sufficient in more ways than not. So I'm just planting a few seeds. You might wanna start looking around, start planning your future a little bit. You know, worse comes to worse and you know, burning off you know, a little bit less fuel in a vehicle just like this and having a great time doing it is not such a bad idea, even if the world doesn't come to an end. So on that mark, today is a great day for riding. Hop on. <laughs>